I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, I'll explain you a concept of dividing line segment internally. We have taken a very simple example. We'll actually divide a line segment into three equal parts. The question is, the end points of the line segment AB are given below. Find coordinates of two points that divide the lines, rather divide the line segment AB in three equal parts. So we'll take one by one, three examples. Let me consider the first one, where coordinates of point A is 0, 0 and B is 9, 15. So let's sketch and understand the situation. So let's say that is X, Y plane. Point A is at the origin. So let me make a figure uh, kind of like this, where we have point A at the origin which is 0, 0. So A and B are these two points. B is 9, 15. And A is 0, 0. So we are looking for two points, let's say P and Q, which divide this into three equal parts. Let's call this point as P and this point as Q. The idea is to find x and y values of these points. Correct? The concept which I am going to discuss, I will solve this question without any formula using a concept. So, so we will do without formula. We will do without formula. We will use a concept. So we are saying that let's divide it to three equal parts. That really means that these parts are equal, correct? And vertically, we have the situation where these parts are also equal, right? So logically, what can you see? Clearly, total length from here to here along the x-axis is 9, right? So so each is 3, 3, 6 and 9, 3 equal parts. The y values, we want to go up to 15, so it could be 5, 10 and 15, right? So that gives you the coordinate points of P, Q and R. So we have point P as 3, 5, point Q as 6 and 10 as our answer. Does it make sense to you? Perfect. So that is how we are going to do it. Correct? That is how we are going to do it. So we get now points P and Q, which will divide the segment AB into three equal parts. So that becomes our answer. Do you see how we got it, right? So basically we are saying if there are two points, end points are A and B, then the formula is kind of x2 minus x1 divided by 3 and y2 minus y1 divided by 3 for the point P. And for point Q, since it is 2 thirds, so we'll say 2 over 3 times x2 minus x1 and y coordinate is 2 over 3 times y2 minus y1. Does it make sense? Perfect. So the total length has been divided to 3 equal parts. P is 1 unit away and Q is 2 thirds of the units away. Right? So you get your answer. Perfect. Now let's take the second one where there is slight difference. Well, here's a typing error. It is 18, not 8. Okay. So now we have a line segment. This time the line segment has been translated towards the right a bit. So let me redraw this. We are saying AB, but A is not at the origin. It is at 1, 3. So we say, let's say this is A and this is B, right? They are not to the scale. We are trying to understand the concept. Is it okay? And we'll follow the same thing which we did last time. This time the triangle is kind of here. 
Now we want to divide again using two points P and Q into three equal parts. That really means that we have to divide this distance between A and B in three portions. Correct? Now A is 1, 3 and B is 7, 18. So each unit is how much? 7 minus 1 divided by 3 is 6 over 3 which is 2. So from A we got two two units. Do you see that? Two units to the right. So that means the x values here are what? The x values will be initially it is 1 right? This point here is at 1. So what is 1 plus 2? It is 3 and what is 1 plus 4? 2 more 5 and 2 more gives you 7. That makes sense. Is that true? Now let's look into the y values. y value is 18. So it is 18 minus 3 divided by 3. It is 15 divided by 3 which is 5. So each unit is 5 above. right? So this is 5, 5 and 5 above this point 3. right? So, so from 3 if you go 5 above 5 plus 3. 3 is 8 and another 5 will 13 and next 5 will take you to 18. That makes sense. So you get your answer, right? So we get point P as this coordinate 3, 8 and Q as that coordinate 5, 13. So I hope with this you understand the concept. So the idea is if we are dividing into three equal parts, we could see those parts being divided along x-axis and along y-axis. Right? So we can add each portion to the initial value A to get our answer. Is that clear? That's how we are going to do it, right? So I'll leave the third part with you, which is... Uh, so question number 1C, the point A is 2, 3 and B is 11, 18. So let this be a question for you, right? So we got the answer here. Now for you, try this out. Where point A is 2, 3 and B is 11, 18. Right? So I hope you should not have any difficulty in solving this. So 11 minus 2 is 9, divided by 3 is 3 units, add 3 to 2 to get the first point. Y values 18 minus 3 is 15 divided by 3 is again 5. So you can again keep on adding 5 to A values, initial value. Is it okay? That should give you the answer. So I hope the concept is clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks a lot for watching.